nomination for Best Foreign Language Film for Land of Mine. Uh, how did it feel when you got the news you'd been nominated? Um, I was excited. The whole team was excited. Uh, you know, it's a huge honor. I think, you know, tens of thousands of films are being made every year. So, so to get into that, first of all, just a short list and being picked out of your, the one f from your country, but the being Oscar nominated is, we're all very excited and very happy. Well, congratulations again. Let's talk a little bit about the movie. Uh, tell us a little bit about what Land of Mine, uh, is about for anyone who may not have seen the movie and tell us a bit about where the idea for the film came from well <clears throat> first of all uh, i'll tell you a little bit about, about the idea the idea came because i i thought our nation like any other nation had a tendency of, of portraying themselves from from the good side uh, um, and i knew there was a lot of dark chapters uh, uh, in our history as well and i wanted to tell one of these and um i have uh, fell over this by coincidence. I was actually uh, 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 Googling about something else and, and the Danish Pioneer Corps, uh, who was uh, supposed to, to have cleared the mines. And then I found out that uh, they didn't do it, but the Germans did. And that wasn't enough for to make a movie about. But when I found out that that they used boys, then I thought this this might turn into to a movie. And I thought it was important enough to, to tell. Uh, so and yeah it's i already said it almost but the movie is about uh, the the danish uh, uh uh nation forcing uh, young german soldiers into the beach and, and disarming mines after the second world war uh, they, there was a saying if you're old enough to go to war you're old enough to clean up after you right um it's an incredibly intense film to watch i mean i was just watching it uh, not too long ago and, and was had my heart palpitating the whole time. Um, talk a bit about creating tension in the film. Well, actually the, 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 the tension of the film came to me when, because I showed the script to a lot of people and they thought, you know, this is basically a very simple story and you decode it very quickly. You, 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 you immediately see that this, these boys are not going to make it. So how do you create tension in a movie like that? How do you keep it interesting? And 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 I, I came up with the idea of using horror elements, thriller elements, uh, 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 that the sergeant should be just as much as uh, uh, of a ticking bomb as as the the landmines was. So so uh, use all the tricks you can as as a filmmaker to 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 keep the tension there, so to speak. Right, and I mean, it certainly helps that um, you get to know who these characters are. Um, I mean, it's it, you feature a large uh, ensemble of characters. There's about 14 kids in the film, and then the sergeant. Can you talk a bit about creating the characters? Well, I... I <clears throat> um, creating the characters was, was, you know, it's always difficult when you have to do with... 14 characters how do you do that how do you make it interesting to to see all these boys and how do you how do you make it interesting for the audience uh, to to want to want to have sympathy for these 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 boys i was always a little bit afraid that i was portraying innocent victims of war that the, so i actually wrote terrible backstories for all the all the kids that they would they would they would take with them uh, uh, I'm not sure sure whether that shows or not, but but that was always my intention. And then I, I casted these 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 boys from all over all over Europe, from from different layers. Uh, 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 sorry, Germany, from different layers of society. So they would kind of I don't know mi mirror society and make a small kind of community uh, in themselves. Um, mm -hmm. And then the character of the sergeant, uh, can you talk a bit about him? I mean, he's very multidimensional on the one hand. I mean, he, he, he can't grow too attached to these kids. And on the other hand, he can't help but grow attached to them. Can you talk a bit about that? Well, the sergeant for me, he, I mean, he's, 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 he's representing all the sergeants that was, that was, that was looking after these, these Germans at the beach and from the very 
worst one to the one I think we as humans should should re react and 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 um, there was a lot of talk about that did he need a reason to be this hateful did he did he need uh, to have suffered on his own or was it enough that that these boys were just Germans and uh, for me it was enough that these boys were just Germans he was so full up with hate so full up of revenge the lust for revenge that 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 was enough for for him to give him the drive to 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 go on to the beach and 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 be the way he was and and of course it is it's a it's a it's a story where where he develops into to to acknowledging that that we as humans are not that different after all that these boys are humans as well and they have the same need for love and lust and and food uh, as anyone else, and he and he, he in the end uh, gets to to care for them. It's certainly a message that's very relevant to today. I mean, was that uh, current events at all uh, uh, influencing the film as you were making it and writing it, or it 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 definitely was. I mean, I was I was looking at that point when I was writing it. I was. Um, reading all about the syrian refugees and uh, seeing the images of the little boy on the beach and somehow it it's there seems to be this i don't know it's 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 crazy but nobody really cared about the syrian refugees until they saw that little boy on the beach and sometimes people need to be i don't know woken up you know we need to see the horror before we 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 wake up and uh, so so i think you know the fact that we were talking about closing down Europe, Denmark was talking about uh, closing down the border again. That was, of course, the inspiration for his first la line, uh, this is my land, uh, get out of here. Uh, uh, uh. And it was a huge inspiration for the movie that that we treat each other like that, that we judge each other in generals, that we should treat each other as individuals. Not everyone is evil. Not everyone is is terrorists. Not everyone is you know. We should we should care for each other, and we should we should remember um, remember history, and and uh, we have to learn from history. And that was the that was my my motivation for 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 making the movie. I did not want to make a a, a dusty old uh, war uh, period piece. I wanted to 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 mirror society as as it is now and sometimes i think it might be easier to learn from the past than something that that happens right now it's it's simply too close it's true yeah i mean there is an immediacy to uh the aesthetic of the film actually i mean i kind of forgot uh when it started that this was taking place right after world war ii i mean it felt like it was taking place uh today um, can you talk a little bit about your aesthetic approach to the film? Well, um, <clears throat> me and my wife, uh, Camilla Jan Knusen, who shot the movie, she's my cinematographer, we, we, we talked a lot about in the beginning that, uh, that we wanted to, it to feel intense. We wanted the audience to, to be present. So we actually came up with the idea of, of, of seeing the, uh, the beach as almost like a theater stage that when the boys went down there the audience should should follow them that when they li were lying there on the beach we should not only see the images but hear the the the, the sound of, of and seeing the hands that we should feel that it was our hands so you would maybe if it worked take your own hands up up in front of your eyes and not wanting to see what was going on so um, and and also it was very important to us to show the beach as 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 a as a beautiful place, show nature as as beautiful as it is. That it's the it's the people, it's us, the humans, who who ruin the nature, um, that danger lies beneath, and they're they're put there by us. Mm -hmm. It's true. There are some moments in the movie where I was watching it like <laughs> like that. Um, it, it, yeah, I mean, you really do. Uh, place the audience in that uh, in that land of minds um, and and uh, give you the perspective of the um, 
of the kids who are having to dismantle these things. Um, talk a bit about um, recreating the period. Um, it, it, you, you give us little details uh, to clue us into the fact that this is taking place right after World War II. Can you talk a bit about that? Well, there was a lot of talk about whether we needed the science in the beginning, whether we needed the, the information that it was taking place in, in, in just after uh, Second World War. At a moment, I actually felt that, you know, normally I feel that stories and movies should, should, should be able to live without science. But I think at this, in this film, it was important to have some information about that it was just after Second World War, that this was not a war movie, because as soon as you see a uniform, you, you, as the audience, as an audience, you don't know what period it is. And, and I, I thought it was important that we knew Second World War has ended. Now, this is not a war movie. This is a post-war movie. This is an anti-war movie. It's more of a thriller and a drama, and it's not about explosions, and we should go on the character's journey uh, so, so, and make it as contemporary, give it as a, a contemporary feel as, as we could. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, the only kind of indications that you get in some of the, uh, set dressing are like the cars and, you know, the uniforms a bit. And, um, so, I mean, it's, it, it does a very good job of making it feel both modern and period at the same time. Um, now that the film has been nominated for the Oscar, a lot of people are going to seek it out and, and watch it. What do you help people take from the film when they see it? Well, I hope when they watch the movie, first of all, that they're, they're entertained. Because I think when you go into a cinema and you spend $12 on, on going into a cinema, you should be entertained. You should go through emotions of, of either tears or laughter. But besides that, I think it's important that, that or I hope that people will think about their own history, their own nation's history. If there are dark chapters that, that they should have uh, reveal or, 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 or be open about, you know, I don't, I, I think it's important that we learn from the past and we can only be better people if we acknowledge what we've done and 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 then move forward there's no there's no need in hiding anything that doesn't that doesn't help anybody um and um, look at their neighbors look at their their people around them and don't judge them you know invite them in absolutely instead of building a, a world on fear and and uh, you know start start seeing each other as as individuals Absolutely. Uh, well, Martin, congratulations on the nomination and on the film, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one.